Okay, this is Mac OS System 7.5.3 running on a Compact Presario 4532 from 1997. This computer has 32 megabytes of RAM, a 3.2 gigabyte quantum Bigfoot hard drive, 5 and a quarter inch drive, and a 200 megahertz Intel Pentium processor within Mix. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the computer now, and you can watch it boot. Um, the power switch is on the back, so I'll go ahead and flip that now. Can you hear the hard drive spin up? See, it is now booting into Mac OS. Yes, it is a very noisy hard drive. As you can see, it is very slow, also. Okay, as you can see, it is now fully booted. As you can see, all the menus work. Um, let's go ahead and go to about this Macintosh. Um, as you can see, it is running system software 7.5.3 and it is getting about 20k of act of or 20 20,000k of free or allocated memory. Um, as you can see down here, there's the control strip. You can see it's running in thousands of colors at a resolution of 800 by 600. You can see sound works. Demonstrate that more. Let's go into the sound control panel. Yep, as you can see, all the sounds work. Um, I have not gotten the C drive to work in this yet. I'm still working on that. Um, for some reason, um, simple text seems to take a while to load. As you can see here, you can see it works. So yeah, that's Mac OS running on a Compact Presario 4532 from 1997. So right now, you're probably wondering how I did this. Well, as you probably guessed, it's not native at all. Basically, I found a Mac or a 68K CPU, technically, emulator for or that runs on MS-DOS. So what I did was I disabled the Windows GUI from loading of Windows 98 and told it to boot straight into DOS mode instead of going into Windows. I also disabled the Windows 98 startup logo to make it look better. So and to get it to launch by itself like that I obviously set it to in auto exec dot bat. So let me go ahead and shut it down. Oh and by the way I will Put a link to the emulator I used, plus my hard disk image, in a link in the description. So
So let me go ahead and shut down the computer. And as you can see, I just added this in the autoexec.bat. I put a little message that says it's now safe to switch off your Macintosh. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So that's Mac OS system 7.5.3 running on a compact Presario 4532. Hope you enjoyed this video.